Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week we're going to do some game day recipes with the football playoffs coming up, leading up into the Super Bowl. We hope you enjoy them. Stick around! Okay, the first thing we're going to make today is some cocktail meatballs. I'm going to go through the ingredients that I'm using. Uh, we're going to use a pound of our homemade Italian loose sausage that we make and hamburger as well, about a pound of hamburger. So what we have here is three tablespoons of Killer Hogs AP seasoning. That is a tablespoon of Lane barbecue garlic squared, three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, one egg, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, three tablespoons of Italian seasoning, and a half an onion chopped. So we're just gonna add all this in and we're gonna mix it. Just gonna mix this together. It smells really good already. We're gonna roll these up into about golf ball size meatballs. We're gonna make a chili sauce to put on top of it with some grape jelly. Today we're gonna be cooking on our Rectech RT700 about 350 degrees. Probably gonna take a little more than an hour. These guys will be done and we'll get them in a crock pot. Let these sit a few minutes and then we'll start rolling them out. Okay, we're gonna roll out some meatballs now. We got our mixture all together. We're gonna to take about a tablespoon. Get them good, good and round. We're gonna go and just set them right here on our rack. Okay, everybody, we got our meatballs all rolled out. We got our Rectech running at about 350. We're just gonna go ahead and set these meatballs on there on the rack. We'll check them here in probably about half hour, 45 minutes, see how they're doing. Now we're gonna go in and start on our next dish. We're gonna start a uh, queso. So we're gonna do a smoked queso with sausage in it. Stick around. Okay, everyone, we got the, the meatballs are on. They're starting to look really good already. And we got this Dutch oven heating up. <laughs> it's, hot. it's really hot. And we're going to get this Italian sausage cooking in there. We'll be back here in a couple minutes and we'll chop that up a little more, give it another stir. Go ahead and give this another stir. Just want to brown this up and break it down. This is about a pound of our homemade Italian sausage that we're using today. Uh, a lot of recipes call for uh, hot sausage, but uh, you can make it with hot. If you want it, if you want it a little bit spicier. You can make it be whatever you want it to be. So everyone here prefers it to be mild. So that's how we're making it. I'm just gonna keep frying this up. Come back to checking, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. You can see we our meatballs over here are looking really good. Maintaining their shape. It smells amazing, so can't wait to give these a try while we're watching the game. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our our cheese and our other ingredients to the queso. 
Our sausage is good and brown. So we're going to go ahead and put the cheese in. And we're going to add our wet ingredients. We have one can of Rotel, just a mild. And you want to put the juice and all in. And then we have a can of the fire roasted Rotel. We have a can of cream of mushroom soup. We have two tablespoons of Rosaruski's uh, Rec Tech Rib Rub. Just going to sprinkle over top of that. that cheese start melting you're gonna to to come back we're going to keep stirring this often uh, so we don't get no burn on the cheese or anything uh, again we got this running at about 350 so it's not going to take a whole lot of time meatballs are looking great they probably got about another 20 minutes and those will be coming off we're going to put those in a crock pot with some uh, grape and chili sauce it's gonna be great stick around okay we're gonna mix up a simple sauce for over top of our cocktail meatballs we just have some sweet chili sauce we're going to dump in here. I'm going to add a whole bottle of this. And then we have Concord grape jelly, about three quarters of this jar. We're going to take this out and get it on the smoker. We're almost ready to pull our meatballs off. Once this starts, the jelly will actually disintegrate into the, the sauce. <laughs> Can't think of the words. And then we'll go ahead and pour that right over top of the meatballs, put it in a crock pot, and you can have it anytime you'd like. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull our meatballs off. These things smell amazing. Get it down on there. So I give it a little stir here. The cheese is starting to break down. Nice and ooey gooey. We're gonna leave that go a while more. It's gonna take probably about an hour, 45 minutes stops. We're gonna get these meatballs in and get them into our slow cooker. And then I'm gonna come back out and give that a stir. That's our sauce that we're gonna pull over top. Hey everybody, welcome back. We have our queso done. We've gotten some pork pulled that we did today and we're gonna go ahead and build our nachos. So how we like to do them here is we're gonna put a bed of these Tostitos down onto a pizza pan. What's nice is you can make these as big as you want. If everybody in your crowd likes the, the same thing, that's great. If they don't, you can build a couple different pans with different toppings on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these Tostitos down. Then we got some of our pulled pork we're gonna put on there. Just gonna spread that around. We're gonna throw some of our cheese on top.
think we're going to add some beans to it too. These are just plain old black beans. They haven't been cooked or anything. We got them straight out of the can. We're just going to put them directly onto the nachos. And then we're going to come over here to our queso, which is still pretty piping hot. We're going to put some of that on top. You can see already it's looking amazing. So we got our queso here, starting to tighten up a little bit again, and that's fine. We're just gonna drizzle some of this on top and it'll run down over it as it's cooking. And what we're gonna do now is I still have the Rectech still going at 275. We're gonna go out, put this back on for probably just about 10 minutes to get everything melted down, and then we're gonna come back in and finish it off with some vegetables. Okay, everyone, we're about 10 minutes into this. You can see the cheese started melting nice on there. Everything's melting down. We're gonna go ahead and pull this off. It is on. We're gonna set that guy on there. Okay, everybody, we got the nachos off of the, the smoker. We're gonna go ahead and load these things up. We're gonna put a little lettuce on top of them. You can get this already shredded at your grocery store. We're gonna add some black olives, jalapenos that we're gonna throw on here. One just ran off the counter. We have some Fresh tomatoes. Put a little bit of salsa on top. Like I said, this is enough for probably more than two or three people. But you can make them up individually however you like. We're going to go ahead and plate up uh, the meatballs along with some of our queso that we made. And we're going to give everything a try for you. So stick around. Okay, everybody, so we made three dishes for you this week. We got our game day nachos. We got some cocktail meatballs that we've done in a sweet chili sauce, and then our game day queso. So we're gonna try that queso first. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little piece of this pulled pork that we did. Get, get a big old scoop of that queso. And that didn't work out so well. Good idea, Michelle. Put that down on there. Mmm. Mm -mm. Nice and smoky. You can definitely taste the Gouda cheese. That pulled pork is delicious. So we can go after this nacho. Mmm. -mm. Then our meatballs. Mmm. Kind of got a sweet and tangy taste to it, almost like sweet and sour sauce. They're really good. Definitely can taste the Italian sausage, the homemade Italian sausage that we made. Everything was excellent. You guys got to give these a try on your game day. Got a lot of playoffs coming up, Super Bowls coming up. We hope you all enjoy it with your families. Try out these recipes. And remember, keep following us on Facebook, Instagram. Go to YouTube, like, and subscribe. Get your song. Get your song.